Hello guys, it is TFS Bracer here, back with yet another Atomic Heart video. This one will probably be shorter. Um, I hate this room. Uh, so the obvious way that I see to do it would be go on there, then do that, and then go on there. Uh, instead, if you are on that and you lift it, the game kills you. So, yeah, I... I can't exactly remember how I'm supposed to do this the correct way. Air quotes around correct. Hello. Oopsie. Oopsie. Can I stop fumbling? Gosh, okay. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov mm -hmm. can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take Collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. There's no such thing as true equality. No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in Collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. Oh. It's the key to everything, including oh. assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a pre- Okay, so I thought all the weapons were in the Babylon complex. Apparently, all the weapons are randomized throughout all of the chest in the entire game. And I just got a nuke. Fatboy is like a nuke type weapon. I had a rocket for it and I dismantled it because I thought I missed it. Okay, so I can apparently still get weapons? 
That's Just interesting. Concerned to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of... So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? <sighs> this place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. What about a mirror? What? Sorry that I interrupted the door. Oh, okay. I was like, why do you mean mirror? Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major? Maybe. The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, Shut you up. can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. Yeah, and you were assigned to help. intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. Jerk. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. You didn't say anything. Are you okay, P? You're not hostile. Yet. Uh. Wow, I'm getting so lucky with all the weapon drops. This playthrough. Like, oh boy. <laughs> this far in the game, I had no weapons. See, it's not gonna be worth it. Take you out. It's gonna take way too many resources compared to what I'm gonna get. I can try it, I guess. Hello, bud. Dead bodies all over the place. You act like this is new. Yeah, I'm getting questionably lucky with the weapon drops. Say I know the code for that. Oh, there's no thing in here. Fading data. Authorization. Major Nichak. I think this is melee. Okay, so I have this weapon, which I want to say is a flamethrower. Electrified polymer. And then this is like a nuke type thing. It's a rocket launcher. I'm missing those. I don't have any ammo for that. What kind of achievement? Weapon master. Great, five types of weapons. Cool. 
And I have uh, two rockets for that. We're gonna save that up for a little bit. Are these end up in my storage? No idea. We can install that on. I can hit the right weapons. How do I apply a uh, cartridge? No idea. Access granted. No, I cannot make uh, that ammo. Wait, this would give me one of those. How much do I need to make uh, this one? Get more. Yeah, that's not gonna give me enough. Fading data. See. Problem is, I can't expand my inventory slots. Why do I have uh, that ammo so, on me? What will it be, Major? Oops, I have a... Store that. And there are, now I can technically carry all that stuff. What does this even look like? Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid using that. Mostly because I can't make ammo for it, but I will have it in case I get in a pinch. Hello! I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? Can be opened with my smoky error. Error. Obviously, can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Basic. Looks like you lost your multi key. My forearms have been torn off by miscreants. Miscreants. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Charles, what do the special neural connectors for Collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is gonna try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, comrade major? What? You mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Yes. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. Wait, you belonged to him? Okay. We're such an untrustworthy guy. Why does he trust me so much? Oh yes, because he's kind of brainwashed me. Or lower. Oh no, that's just workers. There's no letters or anything here. This one have uh, emails. One does. Uh, okay. Okay, we're going back through here. All on through the fence. And 
there's Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Are you sure it becomes hostile? Yep. Good job. Just gonna keep. You have acid breath. Disgusting. It's gonna keep you air. Uh, by the re by the way, I'm ignoring the videos because uh. There is like a, some something that's not good in one of them, and I don't know if they removed it yet. They announced they they said they were gonna remove it a while ago. People pointed it out earlier. They didn't do anything until a PC Gamer pointed it out. It was PC Gamer's like a group that does game reviews and stuff, but they pointed out statue and then the devs are like oh yeah we're gonna remove that mm -hmm. beforehand a lot of people were pointing it out they just kind of ignored that hello whatever And I'm assuming if it's still in the game, it's somewhere in this area. Ooh, a non sent email. Interesting. What's up with them and putting stuff in like weird spots that are very hard to access? It's a jerk move, isn't it? How does it work? Touch. Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi key activated. Thanks, Charles. You're useful. Well, it's a destruction. Now what? Ah, you actually work. Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. How'd you get Did all your limbs back? Breaker. The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much Stop better. being rude. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All-Soviet Exhibition Center. What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, oh, there's like a little negative emotions. thing in front of her. <laughs> I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it. That is true. Uh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. 
Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. Yes. This arouses suspicion. Prove eh. that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that That's you are a human. That's not how you pronounce the word. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help. Activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for... Annoying bullshit. Don't be rude. Anyway, the word is seppuku. Uh, yes, seppuku. Something like that. Not whatever the heck he said. Uh, seppuku, seppuku was like a uh, samurai. If they lost their masters, their masters died. Then they would commit seppuku. Because it's like the biggest dishonor ever for him to live and their masters to die, so... Yeah. No, I can't go in there. I think there's a save point here, somewhere. Okay, that was an accident. Something alive. <gasps> easy. Easy peasy. I'm already almost done. Hey, Lore. People love Lore. More veteran. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so let me actually change to a weapon I can't accidentally waste. Whoa. Robot, I'm already done. So about this Darwin test. Yes! I am always happy to help, Major. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. What are you singing? Gah, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm That'd be sorry. me. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. It shows you're singing with joy for some reason. Uh, really? I gotta do it all one at a time? Ugh. Dang so, it. About this. Yes! I am always happy. Uh. Oh, Add yeah. something cheerful on, would ya? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. He's really not. The music of the future 
shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Oh, that's not layman's terms, actually. Because uh, layman's terms is you're putting it in the most simple format possible. I guess it's kind of... Kind of like a... Kind of... Not... It's, I don't understand it. I mean, I kind of understand, but I kind of don't. I mean, the first sentence is fine. We always listen to music of the future, but the second part is like, what the heck are you talking about? Anyway. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend. The many-pointed star they praise and with their lives defend. <sighs> Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Thanks. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? Ah, uh, not a, a robot. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I'd rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? What was that glitch? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But hey, calm. I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Hey, no name call. Nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the Choo -choo. failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Yes, Precisely. how did you know? How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Why do you say her name like that? Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. Okay, cool. This whole thing is just monstrous. I'm already the caught up to where I was, basically. Lost their minds. In like way less time. It's weird, your first playthrough you always take so freaking long to do everything. And it's like, second or third playthrough it's like, oh wow, that was super quick. I don't know what it is. I know some of it is like learning controls and whatnot, but like even if you they take like a decade long break or something, it's still kind of like that. Well, at least you pick it up quicker. Instead of picking it up second playthrough, it's like halfway through your first or something like that, you'll pick everything up. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal, like a beast to crush and dismember. Weird that I'm doing stuff faster, yet I'm doing more. And also, this one, it just stands there buck naked as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Can you stop judging them? Your we don't judge random. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? We don't judge random machines, okay? Oh That's my. mean. That's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. They are gone. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. Yes, can we move on, please? Oh, am I not oh, close enough? I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. But this one, 
You're not even a machine, you nitwit. What? You're that is... just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Okay. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to. Oh well, let's change the subject. Oh uh, what? One of them used to try to what? There's a wide range of the lab tech models. <laughs> the ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. Harmless? How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the black lab tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. Can we... You can salvage this package from one of the defeated black lab techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. Can we stop judging everyone in here, what? please? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. I haven't been listening. Tereshkova, talk human. Shocking! You have no sense of decency. I gather Me? you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. She's quite nice, actually. I miss her. Algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. What capsule? Yeah, yeah. Move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade. I actually quite like Nora. I miss her. <laughs> Replica of this place. Interesting. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy? You little goo. You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode because you're such a little sweetie. I mean, kind of a lie. I got attacked Precious. by one. And that was one that killed everyone it was trying to serve. So, uh, they, they, on a rare occasion, attack in combat are, mode. Comrade. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. What? Um. BP. Where at all? Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. <gasps> What just now? Your head is made to do that. Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. <sighs> Does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. <laughs> I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. Okay. So guys, this will be it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, video, comment, and subscribe for more. I'm just going to make this video. I never would tip that one. I guess.